Onimusha Dawn of Dreams is an action RPG hybrid, uh, thing, and fourth in the venerable Onimusha series. But is it a dream come true, or will it give you nightmares? The story is standard, but serviceable. Lord Hideyoshi rules the land and is gathering demonic cherry trees for a sinister purpose. Our hero Soki, on the other hand, is travelling the land to destroy the trees and gathers a team of warriors. The core gameplay consists of killing demons with your sword. Most of the time you'll have a backup character too, though they're generally pretty useless. I'm ready for battle, Soki! Excellent. Stand in the corner and block. I'm helping! The game is smothered in countless game mechanics. <coughs> Killing enemies get to experience points that go towards skill points, which you can then spend on upgrading different moves, including normal combos, kicks, uppercuts, thrusts, finishes, and critical hits, which can be triggered in four different ways. Every enemy also drops gold that you can spend at the shop between missions for weapons and accessories. They also drop souls that you must vacuum up with your magic gauntlet that you can then use to upgrade your weapons and armor. There's puzzle boxes that contain items. Each character in your party can craft items from other items with some items unique to individual characters. You can collect new weapons, most of which have their own upgrades and elemental properties through a test of valor that give you extra rewards if completed with enough skill. All the characters eventually get purifying attacks that can be used periodically, and halfway through the game you can venture into the demonic dark realm to upgrade your characters. <sighs> You'll assemble a motley team of heroes, and although they have a common control scheme, each has a genuinely different feel. This game also has the honour of containing the best character ever, introducing Mino Kichi. Are you floating or hanging on a hook or what? Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh stop! Oh, please, don't touch that! Don't, don't touch my thread! <laughs> I get all excited about this! Oh, it's just shameful! <laughs> Even this weird little guy aspires to become a great samurai. Don't wet the bed, alright kid? I won't! You won't be fighting the smartest enemies in the world. Even the bosses boil down to a matter of learning their pattern, and some enemies barely seem to be trying at all. Yeah! Oh yeah! You're going down, hero! Here I go! Ooh. Let me try that again! No! No! It kind of stings when I do this! Hey, are you just gonna stand there, or are you gonna do something? I don't wanna take him on. Oh, hey guys, rough landing, huh? Come over here and give us a hand. Hey, he killed Benny and took his grass. Let's get him, boys, all together. I will avenge my brothers. The game's mechanics are thoroughly exploitable. You could use your precious magic bar to unleash spectacular magic attacks, or you could just use the bottom level magic to initiate far more devastating critical chains. Breaker. When you're not slashing demons, Things slow down to the occasional puzzle, but they mostly feel contrived. Look alive, boys. In order to prevent theft of merchandise and assault from monsters, each gate has been equipped with a special lock. Now, you gotta use the following method to determine the number needed to open the lock. Three of the six warehouses have pictures, and, uh, uh boss, can't we just have a passcode or, uh... You do want to prevent assault from monsters, don't ya? It's like you're working with the monsters. 
The game goes for an over-designed look, and most environments and characters are lavishly decorated. Huh, a character from Spain, you say? Well, they have bowler hats there, don't they? Uh, not complicated enough. Give him frilly shoulder pads, and tassels, and a little cape! Sir, I think you need to calm down. Fancy trousers! Still, the environments can often be conspicuously small and brown. To become a true Oni warrior, you must survive the contrived maze of recycled assets! Uh, is this really the only way to become a true Oni warrior? Yes! The production can be rather uneven. While there are lavish cinematics and motion-captured cutscenes, some major plot points are hastily covered with a still image and some text. And then Munanori ran away somehow! For a game with a simple core of charging around killing bad guys, Onimusha Dawn of Dreams feels as though it threw everything it could at you to see what sticks. There's some messy design, but at least it's a fun mess. Do you want to go to the Dark Realm? Excalibur, hold!